day 10 here at the Erie County Fair, and we are highlighting everything you need to check out here at the fairgrounds. Last half hour, we showed you some food from Mark's Pizza and Subs. Now we're highlighting chainsaw carving. To tell us more, we are joined by Jennifer Black. Jennifer, thank you so much for being here. No problem. So why don't you tell us what you're doing here at the fairgrounds? So each day I have shows at noon, three and six, and each of those shows produce a completed piece, and that piece is entered into the silent auction and all of the money from the silent auction is donated directly back to the Erie County Agriculture Society's scholarship fund. So I have to ask you, you know, what does it mean to you that your art, your craft is, is benefiting students? It's not uncommon as a chainsaw carver for my work to go into charity events and auctions and things. We do it as chainsaw carvers nationwide. We do that for volunteer fire departments as part of their fundraisers. And even um, down in Pennsylvania, there was a um, school for the blind that did a fundraiser mm -hmm. every year and all of us went down there and we donate all of our time and our pieces to the auction so, to pay for that. And, and you at home, you could see this artwork right now and it truly is impressive. I have, have to ask you, Jennifer, how did you get into this? How do you know, how did you know that this was something you're good at? I didn't know. I went to a competition about 10 years ago. That's when I got started. You might have heard of it. It's Ridgeway uh, Rendezvous down okay. in Ridgeway, Pennsylvania. And I went to see what that was all about because I thought it was cool and I'd buy a piece. Well, by the time I got home, I was buying a chainsaw and started carving. So walk us through the process of carving, you know, selecting the wood, you know, finding inspiration for a design. How do you go about doing that? Right. Well, most of my designs are by memory. The patterns awesome. are in my head. I've done them a thousand times and I just repeat them or change the direction or, you know, um, the type of wood that I use, it's a process of elimination, and I've eliminated it down to the best kind for me is white pine. Okay. So I get a log, and I know what will fit in that size log. I have them all in my head. I was like, okay, this is this big. I can do X, Y, Z piece in that, and I just carve it. And how long would you say this takes you? I mean, I guess, of course, it depends on the size of the piece, right? Right, right. So each piece, depending on the size, like some of the ones I brought today, um, the small cardinal will only take about a half hour. Awesome. The larger pieces will take an hour, sometimes a whole day. And but of I've, course, it depends on how detailed you go. Right? Exactly, exactly. So of course, you're doing demonstrations here. What's the feedback you've been hearing from the public? They love it. And they gave me one set of bleachers, which <laughs> they might have wanted to give me more like three, because it is standing room only. Yeah. The people come early so that they have a seat. And those that get there as I start up the music and start up the sound system and the lights and all that, they wind up having to stand. And it's standing room only. Right. They love it. So Jennifer, let's wrap with this. If anyone wants to check out any demonstrations, perhaps do bid on any of your pieces, where can they find you and when? They can find me over right inside gate 1A. And again, my show times are at noon, three and six. All right, Jennifer, thank you very much. Your artwork is beautiful. I love the bear with the fishing pole. That's my favorite one out of oh, the ones I just want to point out yeah. at his feet, it says, welcome fishermen and other liars. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's take one final